Oh, I'm gone. Not until you've opened my wedding present. I'll put it with the rest, shall I? Uh-uh. I think it's a bit late for sad love letters, don't you, Becky? Bye. Open it. So, uh, this is the bit where you just talk among yourselves. About me if you want, why not? It's all anyone's done for months, isn't it? Staring, whispering, judging, changing history. She's always been a bad in that, Becky, you know. Yep, you can take the girl out of the gutter, you just can't take the gutter out of that girl. Oh, excuse me, but is this like a new tradition? Between the best man's speech and the groom's speech? The sour ex-wife's speech? Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, what have I got here? These are Tracy's medical records, showing that when she fell down my stairs, and that's fell, folks, not pushed... Ah, oh, what? There were no babies. <laughs> I don't... Now, whatever she's been through, and trust me, I would not wish that on my worst enemy, which she is, by the way, it was nothing to do with me. She'd already lost the baby, Steve. <laughs> Check the dates. Your shiny new wife's a filthy liar. Oh, it's forged. She'd do anything. Oh. Dad. How low are you prepared to stoop? Becky, where did you get this from? Me stoop? Kenny, talk to your wife, love. She's so stoop, she's folded in half. She knew. Isn't that right, dreary? Oh. Filthy liars. They're running the family. Steve, you've got to believe me! This is lies! Yeah, well, it's not, though, is it? I hope you'll both be very happy together. <coughs> you deserve each other. Oh, Steve! Just oh, read it, Ken. No!